Hello guys, welcome to this channel. Welcome, welcome. If you read by the title, you obviously know what this is all about. This is a smart Wi-Fi thermostat. The reason, number one reason why I got it because it looks plain, like a traditional um, thermostat would look like. And for reference, this is an old traditional type of uh, thermostat out there. This is a Honeywell. This is what I have right now I'm using. It's okay. It does the job. You know, I'm not going to sell this or replace this. I'm going to keep it if need be comes off like that show you guys how to mount it in a few but this right here is a smart Wi-Fi version to anyone it looks very plain right but no this is just like Google and Nest all those thermostats it's smart it has its own app and uh, it's actually very durable those other brands they look very flimsy this is you could throw this and toss this around right boom very durable anyway this is what it comes with. It comes with two batteries, mounting plate. This is what's gonna be mounted on the wall. The thermostat itself, it's very it's very big compared to the screen size. Bezels are like two inches in size, all, all from all sides, right? But the screen size what does it doesn't matter to me. What matters is the functionality. This is what matters. Um, so it works with Wi-Fi, like I said, with your phone with an app. It's very easy to set up, they say. It comes with uh, this manual right here, it's also an installation guide. But if I was you guys, I wouldn't follow this. Follow this video, that's why you clicked on it. And also follow the app. The app itself has um, also guide on how to install this very quickly. So let's get started, shall we? First of all, what we have to do is remove the old existing one right here, this bad boy. And before I start, guys, these two thermostats don't require a common wire or uh, no, no, another word for it is uh, C wire. This house is old, right? And we do not have a C wire. And that's another reason why I picked this. So we're gonna have to remove this old one. You guys probably don't wanna see it, but I'm still gonna record. All I'm gonna do is unscrew three bolts, take this out, unscrew these. So this is the wires I have. I have yellow, I have green, I have white and I have red right there. That's the only wires. I don't have any uh, C wire, as you guys can see. So what's gonna power this is batteries. Like I showed you guys, that's why batteries came with this. Since this is a Wi-Fi uh, thermostat, you're gonna have to change it regularly because common wire is not anywhere to be seen. So. so common wire is another word for power, right? So this doesn't have a power that's coming through the wall. What's gonna power this little unit is the batteries. The batteries are what sends the signal into the wall through these wires and tells the system what mode you want it in, right? Yep. So now, since I have already previous drilled right here holes, I'm gonna anchor, put my anchors here and here. I'm not going to uh, drill anything, so that's neat for me, guys. But you guys have to drill uh, with a drill. It says it on the app what type of drill. I think it's 3 8 You guys have to drill with. So let's get started. So. What's amazing is this comes with a leveler. Look at that. So it really saves you time. This is right here. You See the previous was one wasn't leveled. You don't have to do the guesswork, guys. So this cuts the third party, right? Okay, so let's get started. Just had to throw it out there. What you wanna do is first of all turn off power, right? So go to your main um, power source, turn it off. Right now, all I did is open two bolts, so let's open this third one. See, we had previous anchors right here. Now we're gonna put the new ones here and here. It's already pre-drilled. So, we'll align this here, push these anchors in, and then bolt this here. Anchor it. Make sure it's level, guys. Like that. Now you want to use a mallet, right? It'll be better option because you won't damage the wall. But I do not have one, so I'm gonna be careful. There we go. And then there as well. So now I have two anchor points and I could maneuver it like this to make it leveled. Now to time time to screw it on 
and I'll have a base plate connected. It would have been better if I had a drill right now, but you gotta do with what you have. So, I'm not gonna tighten that just yet. I'm trying to make it level. Here. I like that you could literally tell how if it's level or not. And I this, like that part. This doesn't look too level to me. Honestly, that could be wrong. So, see? Right there. It's perfect. Let me zoom in to that bad boy. You guys can see. See, this isn't accurate as, going down, as, going as down. much as I want it to be. Keep going, keep going. See, th this is telling me this is accurate. That's, uh, keep going up a little bit. It's actually the bubble is slow. Okay, one Very more. slow. Gotta get it It's like a bump right there. Right there. It's actually correct, guys. Don't you worry. Okay. That's tight, man. That's it's, not, it's not going anywhere, guys. And this is four. Two. Look at that. All right. Perfect. Got it down. Now, let's put the batteries. Nice. We got it to work right there. So, I think it also has a right there. Wow. You can lit up the screen by clicking this button up top. Okay guys, so you guys, I'm on the app now. This is literally the guide, step, step by step guide on how to do this. It says gather tools and package contents. Before we begin, you'll need to gather the following tools. Phillips and or flatbed screwdriver in a drill with 3 16th, a uh, four millimeter bit. You may also need to wire a cutter or a needle nose pliers. Uh, second thing here, turn off power. I, I also told you guys, turn off the power to your heat, heating and air conditioning system by using your fuse box or the switch next to your furnace. Okay. Remove the thermostat cover. I already did this. Optional, take a photo of your existing thermostat wiring in case you need it for reference later. I already did that. If you need a jumper wire, remove it. Your new thermostat has a jumper wire built in. Leave all the uh, uh, other wire connected to the thermostat. So here we go. It says pick the term terminals with the wires attached, guys. So let's go over to the wires I have here. So I have a white wire. Let me click on white wire here. I also have a yellow wire, a green wire. Let me try to see where that is right there. Green wire and a red wire. It's, it's telling me now you selected a valid configuration. So everything here is properly set to work. Let me click next. See, look, if I, if I click other stuff, probably gonna give me like your, your configuration is invalid, right? So let's, let's go. Uh, it says select the furnace type, gas, electric, or a boiler. This is gas. So if you have electric, you, you obviously click the electric. Let's go from here. It says you've selected a valid configuration. Next. Label your wires, wire labels, all thermostat. So with this, they gave us um, those little stickers as well. You guys could use to wire and help you guys out, right? Using the provided wire label stickers, carefully label your wires by removing one wire at a time from the terminal and applying a label sticker. Your labels may not match. That's okay. For example, you may have a W wire, you can apply a WE sticker. Next, disconnect wires and remove base. Secure wires by wrapping the wires around the pencil to keep the, them from falling into the, uh, into the wall. You, don't want, you do not want the wires to fall back into the wall, guys. That means you have to break the wall and yeah. uh, retrieve it. Next, install new thermostat base. I already did this, I already installed it very quick. Let's skip ahead. It says connect the wires now. Insert the wire into the corresponding terminal block, then tighten the screw. How about next? Attach the thermostat to base plate. I already did this. Very simple, right? Install base plate and securely attach the thermostat to the base plate. Next, turn on power. So be sure guys, have your power off when you're doing this. Next, 
Wi-Fi setup. Press 1 and then 2 mode to start wireless radio. The Wi-Fi icon will flash in the top left corner of the thermostat. Your thermostat is ready for wireless setup. Alright guys, I had to turn off the electricity, right? But now you guys can see this is what we did to wire this one. Red to RH, yellow to uh, Y, green to G, and white to white or WE. And we have to push this this back a little bit, this wire. Make sure you don't push it in too far because it's gonna get um, stuck in the wall, okay? So now we are set up and ready to go. We're gonna just now put the thermostat and then mess around with, it, with its settings. So make sure everything is good, red to red. Yellow to yellow, green to green, and white to white. Okay. This is if you do not have a common wire. See, th this is what's common wire. See, and we do not have that. So that's why we bought this in the first place, this thermostat. Time to stick that on. There we go. And obviously, I'm not going to remove this cover, this plastic piece. Let it leave there. Guys, it said 39% humidity, so this bad boy tells you the humidity level as well. So, it's amazing. And this is how you set it up. This is how to mount this, this video in particular. And that's how easy it was to mount it. We still don't know the programs, obviously. We have to get used to it before we make another video, guys. So subscribe for that. So subscribe this channel. Very easy to mount this. Looks really, really good now. And now we have to mess around in settings. So give me a thumbs up, guys.